Hi, everyone, and welcome to this pro tip where we will be generating text using Adobe Firefly. We have a lot to cover today, so let's hop in. First of all, I want to preface by saying that everything that you make in Adobe Firefly isn't for commercial use. So today I'll be working on a personal project. I love type, and right now there is this really fun social media challenge, which is called the 36 Days of Type. If you haven't heard about it, please be sure to check out their Instagram page. It's full of inspiration, um, specifically if you love type. And it, the designers are just like going at it and doing some crazy effects with like the, the, the letter of the day. So as you can see right now, I have pulled up the calendar of like the, the letters that people are designing. Um, so we are in the middle of the challenge right now, but if you're like me, you never have time to do stuff for yourself. So this using Firefly, which where you can generate stuff very fast, may be the solution for you to participate to this challenge. So today we will be looking at the letter S and maybe the letters that is surrounding that too. Um, and we will also be looking at generating prompts. So there is a logic behind prompts, right? Um, and as Paul Trani was like saying, Paul, I have watched all of your, <laughs> your videos to prep for this pro tip. Um, and he was saying that AI is pretty much uh, the combination of your right and left brain. And that you need to have like good words and you need to be able to describe the images that you're looking to get. So I'm not the best with words as a lot of creatives are also, that's why I communicate in images. So for me, having a mood board at the very beginning of my project was very important. Um, so I did fetch a lot of images that I feel somewhat represents me. Like here you can see some uh, like Greek statues. I, I love like the art history of, of Greece. Um, some Renaissance painting. Um, we have some like, <laughs> La Jaconde de Da Vinci here, some beadwork. Um, like I love some heavy textured like patterns, some jeans. I mean, this is the Canadian tuxedo, <laughs> right? Um, leather and like other cool um, like textures that we can find here, tattoos and stuff like that. From this, I decided to pull some words just to be able to kind of start my word list, to be able to build the, the, the letters and the type effects a little later. From this, I was able to create, generate all this. So let's just look at a few words that we have here. And I actually made this presentation shareable online. So if maybe the, the chat moderators could, could share um, that link, that would be amazing. And I'm just going to refresh my page here because I am not seeing the chat right now. And I'm so sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't. There you go. Perfect. Just awesome. So some words that we can find here, <laughs> some words that I like, right? It's like detailed colorful embroidery, Greek, Greek column, Picasso cubism, painting, uh, American dollar bill. I mean, who doesn't like money, right? <laughs> Distress blue denim, graffiti on concrete. So again, like just some words that you can build your prompts on. Another thing that I have noticed when doing my research on uh, being able to have good prompts is that Firefly is actually taking the Adobe li library as, uh, sorry, to reference images. And that's where everything clicked for me. Because the images that are on here use like mega descriptive descriptions, it's it was also a good way for me to go and search for some words within uh, the images. So let's see if I just do art and let's see what this pulls up in Adobe stock. Let's say I like this here a lot. Abstract art collage of young women with flowers. This in itself can become a prompt. And then you can see what uh, Firefly can generate. So without further ado, let's go and uh, let's go and create some type effects. 
So I know that it's not all of you who have access to Adobe Firefly right now. There is a big uh, wait list. So just be patient and hopefully you'll have your access soon. If you don't have it, if you do, well, just go nuts. <laughs> so I clicked on type effect here. And as you can see, there's already a pretty good library of cool effects that is happening. And it's also good to have a look at them just to see what prompts um, have been used to create this. So as I said, today we are on the letter S of the challenge and I'm just going to copy this just to see what it's going to do if we like it. So, oh, I see that the link is uh, maybe not working for what I should. So that's okay. Uh, at the end of this uh, of this stream, I'll be able to make it work. It's it's weird because it's working right here for me. So there you go. That took seconds for it to generate, and it looks really good. What I love about um, Adobe Firefly too is that you can see some multiple options of the like that prompt. I think this one looks really like detailed. Yes, I love to explore wh whichever is the best and then make my selection. And then here, like the eyes are a little cut out so that this is not like the best option for this prompt. But it's super fun to look at. This one looks <laughs> whenever there's people like in like AI, sometimes it's a little distorted, but it, that's OK, because you can definitely download and then like fix it after in in uh, Photoshop or or whatsoever. So actually, I feel like this one is super cool. And before we make our final like download, I would like to bring your attention to like this side here um, with the text effect fit. Like right now it's medium. That means that I call them flyaways. It's probably not the right term for it, <laughs> but that you, you see you, you have some details that are kind of bleeding out of the letter. Um, if we do loose, it's going to regenerate. Um, like a new image where well, you can see here, there's a lot of details out, like outside the letter. I personally like a tight fit because I really like that we see the letter and I feel that it is more fitting for the type challenge um, on, on social media. Well, I think this one I like the, the crazy details that is happening. So right now I'm actually working with no background. Um, you can add a color to the background depending on your composition. Um, whenever you do download your image, as you will see a little later, it's going to be in a square. So I personally like to have like a, a like no background because then I can bring it into Photoshop and Illustrator, which we will also look at today. And you can like build uh, like a montage of fun, funky letters if you want. Actually, this is like missing a little bit of details here. So I'm just going to maybe pick another one. And as this is loading, I just want to say hi to Sean. Hi to Lola. Hi to Garrett. Uh, hi, Liz. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Hmm. Maybe it's the young women that it's not liking Let's see this one. Maybe it's the S too. Sometimes when you try it with the S and it's not working, you could go to the next letter and then see what happens. And what I like is that you don't even need to regenerate and or click on the button. It will actually regenerate for yourself if you change the letter or the word that you're typing. Actually, this is looking pretty good. I wanna see this one. Okay, now I'm really liking this. So I'm going to download this. So as I mentioned earlier, um, everything is uh, not for commercial use. So this is just like a prompt that is saying like content cred credential will be included like in your, your file. I'm loving that Adobe is doing this. Like this is a really great way to protect like the artist's copyright and making sure that everything is done in like the best way possible. So for the sake of this, uh, 
live, I will actually say don't show again, but you will see that we will have like a mini watermark like in all of our downloads. So there you go. Perfect. Now, um, I want to go back to this list and I'd like to pull like some new stuff because now we have copied from the Adobe stock uh, library. I want to create like our own. And if you have some cool prompts that you would like me to share to uh, or try, please feel free to um, like write them in the chat. Right now I'm looking at Behance, but there's people that are helping me to transfer your comments from, from YouTube. All right. So again, if I go back to my mood board, I mean, I really like jeans. So let's see what we can do with jeans. And because we have the T already and we don't have the S, let's go back to our S letter. So how about we do distress jeans with yellow stitching? Stitching. Oh, I have a typo here. I mean, it, even if I did have a typo, <laughs> it understood what I was like wanting to say. So this is amazing. Actually, let's look at this one. I am always, and I don't know if this is a word, but flabbergasted <laughs> by what AI can generate. How cool is this? I feel like I could lose hours of my time just seeing what I can create with those prompts. And if you're unhappy, like, I mean, it is super cool, but I'd like to see what else it can do. Like maybe I'll do like a small yellow stitching instead. You can just add words and keep like adding to your prompt and then generate. It's still quite big. Let's see. It's thinking hard right now. I think this one like looks really good. So we have, so I'm probably not saying that properly, but uh, uh, Nitish who's saying, can you make a metal design letter, golden metal with screw inside, no art inside? Uh, I mean, let's try it. So let me download this. Then we will try metal. Something I have also noticed like with um, Adobe Firefly is they, um, it likes descriptive words like dripping, broken, uh, fuzzy, hairy, soft, textured. Um, so this is also something that you can play with whenever you're generating your prompts. Okay, so let's do a U. And we will go make metal design. So we'll say heavy metal uh, with tiny screws pattern. Let's see what it does. That you is looking cool. That's cool. This is giving me like a very futuristic, uh, like motor letter ish. What do you think Nitish? Do you like it? I think this is super cool. So my idea after is to either bring this on a white or black background um, in, in Illustrator because I want to create a reel with it. So uh, as you know, reels are everything these days. And I think again, like to participate to the 36 days of type, it's a really great idea um, like to showcase your work like in a, with a song and maybe a moving format. Um, so it's also something that you can see how it looks here with that background color. Or even if you want to have multiple colors. Oh, actually it looks really good on this. So maybe when we do our composition a little later. That's, I really like this. This was a great prompt. Thank you so much. 
Oh, Garrett is saying, I have lost, like, I haven't lost any hours for, I guess this is for, uh, for Adobe uh, Firefly. Well, once you do get into it, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of your time because it is so cool to play with. Okay. Let me go back to my list here. And maybe we can do like a few letters at a time to see how different they are. Because right now I'm just doing one letter at a time. But let's do ABC to see what it does. And maybe we can do, oh, I know. Laurel tattooed skin. And let's see what this comes up with. Isn't that super cool? That C here is giving me life. And I love how you can very much insert your personality like with those prompts. Maybe here we could say detailed, soft, just to see what it would do. And again, you can keep like building your prompts. So I see like other, other designs. Now that'd be super cool. I really like this again. Let's just like see. So you may notice that there is some, you know, like some pixels like around it and that's okay because you can, again, like I said, always bring this in Photoshop and refine your edges before your final composition. Another reason why it's cool to have it on white because then you don't see it as much, but it does show a little bit on black as you can see if you are like super picky like I am. Okay, so we are already halfway into this live, which is going by super fast. So now I want to actually show you what you can do with it in Photoshop. So this is something I had done previously. So whenever you do download it, I'm going to open maybe that S and that T that we have designed together. So as you see, like this is the watermark that I was like talking about. Now, if we are, I'm going to just zoom on that. If we are building a reel, well, the square format won't necessarily work because we need to have a rectangular um, like portrait format for it's like um, 1028 by 1820 pixels. Um, so this here will be in the way it will be sitting at an awkward place. So just for this purpose again this is for personal use i am going to remove this i'm doing this quick selection and just removing this for now but don't worry i'm gonna add it back in the final project i'm just going to add here i like to do this it's probably not the best way to do it but i just like to add like a color to see if i need to fix anything and here I'd like to just like refine like this, just to make it a little like straighter. And I love using this tool because then it's like super easy and I can make some very quick adjustments to it. Like this. Perfect. Like to delete that and then save. See how quick that is? And now I can go into Illustrator. I already have the proper settings for my story. I did like this is a lot. Actually, I'm just going to do one artboard for now. Or maybe I'll do three because we have three letters and we can get there in this stream. There you go. Gonna put some more. There you go, perfect. So now if I 
place my letter in here. And I can add like a nice colored background to it. The back. Let's see how it looks with this. Maybe darker. I like this a lot. Perfect. I can actually make this a little bigger. I'm going to align it properly. And then I have already made an image of the watermark. And I'm going to add it right here just to make sure that I follow protocol. And this here is the one of your frames for your reel. How quick was that? <laughs> so let's go again. I'm just going to save this quickly. Oops, real frames with type. So you can just keep and keep on building like this reel until you have a full um, like the full alphabet. If I go back into Firefly, because we want to look at prompts again, let's do D E F and have another cool prompt here. Um, oh yes. Hands touching, you know, like that Renaissance painting that the hand, both hands are touching like this. Um, painting Da Vinci. Let's see what it does in session. I forgot Renaissance. Renaissance. So hands can get a little like funky with the, uh, oh, this is actually looking really good. I really like this. <laughs> I'm taking this so much. But yeah, hands can get a little funky with AI. That's sometimes like how you know that it is AI. Like see here, like the like the fingers are a little long. <laughs> Even this, like there's three fingers. This is like like a Simpsons hand. <laughs> but the first one, actually, like this isn't like this one, the E isn't bad. So we can definitely use that like for like the real. I'm going to download that. So just have fun, right? Like Think outside the box and again, like use prompts that maybe represent you and like you can have fun with. Let's try another one that we can go like maybe like a very long description. Um, I have some ideas here. Okay. Um, if we go here back to the like my mood board, we have some like cutouts here. So this was actually from um uh, Adobe Stock, so it's like eyes and lips and the uh, ears retro magazine clippings. Um, I get in there to have a typo here, and let's see what that does. And I'm going to do this and right. I mean, I kind of like how chaotic this is looking. <laughs> it's very artsy. But like I said, just have fun and let your imagination go wild and build off of your, like the words. And you can also, because I know prompts will be something of the future. Like this is just me saying this, but maybe you can create a document where all of like the words that you're using, some specifically if there's words that you like or results that you like, um, having a document somewhere where you can reference and go back to with all of your favorite prompts is a good idea to, to start. Because I think that we'll see a lot of prompt engineers, like maybe jobs that are going to happen. Or if you are a, um, like a copywriter and you know, you want to have fun with this because you already have a big vocabulary. Hey, why not? 
<laughs> Robert is saying this is a little creepy. It is a little creepy. Okay, we'll try something a little fluffy. We have like a few minutes. So let's just do a soft cotton candy here. So if you have any question and you want to hang out like after this, there is a Discord link that I'll be just continuing this workflow. Feel free to join and we can chat about type. We can chat about AI, some like letters, the 36 days of type challenge. Let's hang out. This is looking really good. Let's say pink cotton candy. Okay, now I want to eat this. Is this better, Robert? It's not like too creepy. <laughs> so this went very, very fast. But as you, like, as I showed you, you can download this, bring it back into Photoshop, do a little bit of cleaning, and then bring it into Illustrator. And once you have all of your frames, I can show you the final Oops, project. This is like how it's downloaded. This is like the full alphabet that I had done before. And again, I just had fun. Like here, I, I did like leather, we have statue. And here's how it looks like animated. So I invite you to have fun with Adobe Firefly with generating prompts. Thank you so much for being here. See you in Discord and see you next time.